Hi, Big Sprouts. It's time for a theme. I'm excited because today we're going to start a new theme. Our new theme is fruits and vegetables. Where does it grow? We're going to learn about fruits and vegetables and how and where they grow. Our first theme, we learned how to plant sunflowers. Look, our plant is growing. Do you see some of the parts of the plant? I see some long green stems and many exciting leaves. We must be doing a great job watering our plant. So our plant is still growing, but I want to review all the parts of the plant. So let's build our own flower. Here we have some soil. We can put our seed in the soil. Soil is what helps plants grow. It has special nutrients inside that plants need to grow big and strong. What else do plants need to grow? They need sunlight. So if we give our plant sunlight and some water, something will start to grow. Do you know the first thing that will grow? Da -da -da -da. They are roots. What are they? They are roots. That's right. Roots will begin to grow. Roots are very important. They help the plant stand tall and they also drink the water and eat some of the nutrients from the soil. Wow, roots are very important. If we give our plant more water, something else will start to grow. Something long, something green. Do, do, do. It's a stem. What is it? It's a stem. That's right. The stem will grow up out of the soil. The stem is also very important because it will drink some of the water and carry the nutrients up, up, up to the other parts of the plant. If we give our plant some more water, what will grow next? Do you remember the next part of the plant? <gasps> do, 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 do. <gasps> they are leaves. What are they? They are leaves. That's right. Plants can have many different number of leaves. This plant has two leaves. Let's count them. One, two. Good job. Leaves absorb sunlight. That means they get energy from the sun to help make their own food. Wow, very important parts of the plant. And if we keep watering our plant every day, what will grow at the top? Do, 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 do. A flower, a beautiful flower. Flowers can be many colors. Some flowers are white, some flowers are yellow, some flowers are purple. What color is this flower? I see two colors. What color is it? It's pink and yellow. That's right, it's pink and yellow. Flowers hold little seeds inside. And soon, these seeds might fall to the ground or be carried away by other animals and will grow into beautiful flowers. Wow, great job remembering the parts of the plant. Did you know we eat some of those parts? If we eat the roots, stems, or leaves of a plant, we call those vegetables. Some plants grow new parts called fruits that we can then pick and eat, like apples, oranges, and plums. Now, let's look at some plants that we eat. Today, you're going to learn about fruits and vegetables. It's important to eat healthy food. Do you know why? Healthy food helps our body grow big and strong. It also helps us not get sick. Fruits and vegetables can help keep our teeth strong and help our eyes see well. Let's learn about some of these fruits and vegetables. Say, I can learn about fruits and vegetables. Great. First, we're going to start with the fruit group. 
These are all fruits. Fruits are very special. Do you know why? All fruits have seeds. If we cut them open and look inside, we can find some seeds. Let's talk about some of these fruits. This is a tomato. What is it? It's a tomato. Good. This is a kiwi. What is it? It's a kiwi. Good. This is a cucumber. What is it? It's a cucumber. And I brought a very special fruit for you. <gasps> What's this? It's a bitter melon. What is it? It's a bitter melon. <laughs> Good. If we cut these fruits open, we can find some seeds. Let's look. I cut the tomato. If we open it, we can see a bunch of little seeds inside. I also cut the kiwi. Ooh, beautiful. Can you see all of the little tiny black seeds? That's how we know a kiwi is a fruit. If we cut open this cucumber and look very closely, we can also see some tiny seeds. And just like these other fruits, if we cut open the bitter melon, we can see these seeds. But do you notice these seeds are quite big, much, much bigger than the kiwi seeds, right? Much bigger. So all of these are fruits, and these fruits grow above ground. They grow on something called a vine. A vine is a plant that can grow or climb up and down or side to side. Let's look at some of these pictures. Here are some tomatoes growing on a vine. Here are some kiwi growing on a vine. Here are some cucumbers growing on a vine. And here are some bitter melons growing on a vine. If you notice, on these vines, you can see the stem and you can also see the leaves. Right? Here's a long stem. Here's a long stem. Here are some beautiful green leaves. Here we have some long stems and many big green leaves. And here by our bitter melon, we have the stem and we have some leaves. But the thing about these fruits is we don't eat everything. We don't eat all of the parts. If we want to eat some of these uh, different fruits, we have to actually take them off of the vine. If you look here, these were already taken off. Do you see any stems or leaves here? No, no we don't, right? We already took them off. The leaves and the stem are still on the vine. If we want to eat our tomato, we have to take off the green part right here. This is called the calyx. Kind of looks like leaves, right? If we take that off, then we cut it open. We can eat the inside of the tomato and the outside. The outside of the kiwi is quite hard and very rough. So we only eat the inside. We can cut the kiwi open and we can scoop out the inside. For a cucumber, some people only eat the inside. Some people peel off the outside. But actually, you can eat the outside too. Some people like to eat the outside. It's up to you. For the bitter melon, I brought the bitter melon because it's very, very special. We do eat the outside. Some people can eat the outside, even though it's a little bit bumpy and a little bit rough. But the special thing about the bitter melon is we cannot eat the seeds. The seeds are poisonous. The seeds will actually harm our body. But if we take them out, then we can eat the bitter melon. Then it's safe. Kind of a fun looking fruit, right? <laughs> so these are all fruits and all of these fruits grow on a vine. Let's learn about some vegetables. These are vegetables. I have four different kinds of vegetables here. Let's learn their names. 
This long brownish purple vegetable is a sweet potato. It's a sweet potato. Good. I think you know the name of this vegetable. This long orange vegetable, what is it? It's a carrot, good job. Let's look at this round vegetable. It's a very beautiful color. It's an onion, what is it? It's an onion, good job. And have you ever seen this kind of vegetable? Wow, very cool looking. This white vegetable is garlic. It's garlic. What is it? It's garlic. Yes, all of these are different vegetables. Now, vegetables do not have seeds. If we cut them open, you will not find any seeds inside. But vegetables are still very special. Let's learn why. Vegetables grow underground. They grow deep underground in the soil. If you look at these pictures here, here are some sweet potatoes that were pulled out from the soil. Here are some carrots, here are some onions, and here is some garlic. What do you notice about all of these vegetables? What do you see? What part of the plants do you see? I see long green stems. Do you see them too? Yeah. I also see the roots. Do you see the roots? Yeah. They're kind of different colors and different sizes. Some are short, some are long, but the roots are growing out of these vegetables. So here's the special thing. If we want to eat these vegetables, we have to pull them out of the ground. And then look, these vegetables on my plate do not have any stems and do not have any roots, right? If we take those parts off, then we can eat them, right? For example, look at the difference, right? These carrots were just pulled out from the ground. These carrots still have their stems and still have the roots. You can actually see a little the roots here, right? If I want to eat this carrot, I'm going to definitely cut those off, right? But then I can eat all of the orange part. So the special thing about these vegetables is that when they grow underground, when they're ready, if we want to eat them, we take the whole vegetable out of the ground, which means we take this whole plant, we take the whole plant out, we clean it, we wash it, and then we can eat them. So even though vegetables do not have seeds, they are still very, very special in their own way. Good job, Big Sprouts. Today, you learned about different vegetables, the parts that we eat, and the parts of the fruit that we eat. You also learned a little bit about where they grow. Say, I know about fruits and vegetables. Good job. Make sure when you eat, you make some healthy choices so you can grow big and strong. Bye-bye, Big Sprouts. Thank you.